guys hello and welcome i'm finally back uh, i'm not dead uh, i actually have not been on uh transport tycoon in i think it said four months whenever i got on earlier uh, and that's probably the last time that i made a video i think it was about four months ago so it has been crazy uh, i've been super busy uh basically i've been doing a lot of traveling uh, it's like every other weekend i've been going somewhere it feels like uh and if you did not know i'm actually getting married next week so i have been uh busy with that long story short my windshield cracked so i'm working from home so i'm home for the day so that's why i'm uh that's why i'm actually recording a video because i actually have some time to do it so so yeah, uh, from the title, uh, you can probably guess what I have been working on. I have been working on figuring out what the best race is. Uh, so I have done all of them. This is actually the last one left. Uh, if you did not know, there are 13 different races that you can choose from. Uh, so this is the last one that I need to do. A uh, few things, I guess I should say. I've been using the same car for all of them. Uh, not using a super fast car. It's just the I think it's the 8F Drafters, what this thing is called. Yeah, I believe pretty much everyone gets this car. So it's a good middle ground. Like, it's not super fast, but it's not slow either. So it's a decent car to use for this. Uh, additionally, uh, it has been double XP the whole time. And I didn't realize until I think like the third one that I actually don't have... Uh, tycoon premium right now so that's that's uh yeah i don't have anything from that but i do still have the link discord and faction bonus so there's that uh let's see here what else yeah i think that's actually about everything so so yeah while i'm uh doing this race i'll uh i guess talk about some other stuff this video is probably not going to be super long uh so it, it's probably just going to be I'll finish up this race, uh, do my calculations, and then get the answer. So uh, probably not going to be a super long video. Uh, we shall see. This is actually a short race. It's only 26 checkpoints. So might wind up doing something else too. Um, yeah, I have noticed that yeah, the further north you go, it's usually the uh, the longer the races are. Uh, the longest being the Alamo Rally. It's like three laps around the Alamo Sea. I think that one took mm, 11 minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. I don't know, something like that. So that's definitely the, the longest, longest race out of all of them. Uh, now, I don't have my... Uh, my thing pulled up on my second screen otherwise I could say exactly how long they were but I guess I'll be able to check in a minute I plan on probably editing this video and getting it posted today uh, which is the 12th of September uh, but yeah you guys uh, you can expect that I will actually be back actually hopefully recording somewhat on a regular basis uh, once the wedding is passed and we're back from the honeymoon and, you know, she gets moved in, everything, you can expect to hopefully be getting some more videos from me, uh, especially uh, Star Citizen. I would like to actually start making some more Star Citizen videos. Oh, I wrote that completely wrong. I'd say maybe end of October. Uh you can expect uh, to hopefully start getting some more frequent videos for me and uh yeah hopefully uh we'll actually be able to get some videos with uh sydney in them as well don't know what we'd be playing but oh that okay <laughs> i was like why is that one so much higher than the rest it's because i didn't actually do the math right 38.941 1.65 okay so i will probably throw up the list on here right now so yeah 
shortest race is the Grand Sonora Mountain Rally. That was the shortest, at least for me. Uh, so, but short does not always mean better because you actually get your XP based on how many checkpoints there are and like the distance between the checkpoints. Uh, that one is not the highest. Let's see here. Can I sort this? Thank you, Google Docs, for not having basically a, I, don't, I forget what it's called. It's like a table, I think is what it's called in sheet, uh, Excel. Uh, let's see. That one's the highest so far. Uh, yeah, that one is the highest. Okay, so the... Highest XP, if you look at this, at the list on the screen right now, it is going to be the uh, Banham Canyon Drive Loop. And actually, since that is the the highest, oh, why did I do that? Since that's the highest, I will actually go do it real quick. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Let's see. It's uh, this guy right here. I'll go do this and then it'll probably be it so yeah if you are looking to make the most XP possible uh, this is the race you're gonna want to go for uh, close second let's see here a close second is the northern vinewood loop that one's also actually pretty much about the same as this one so I'm sure by the time you get uh, better at either one uh, you could probably get more XP out of these I'm trying to think the Ellis Highway loop is actually I was getting I would be averaging about 200 less yeah that one right there that is the Alamo C or yeah Alamo C rally that's the long one <laughs> about 10 minutes to do it because it's basically three laps around Alamo C so that one takes a little while to actually do and then additionally another long one is the uh, racer circuit one that one's fi only five minutes but I will say uh, if you're gonna do that race to learn how to drive for racers don't that that is not the way you should go <laughs> For racers I actually did this uh, I think I actually talked about it in the video where I talked about doing tools and erasers it is there's basically two ways that you can go and there is actually basically a looped way that you can do it that's definitely better than the one that the race is uh, which once we get up here to where we're going I will try to show on the map what I'm talking about but I actually did like timed it back oh gosh this would have been three years ago probably so yeah the best the quickest way to go is actually if you well racers are well here if you go up and after the uh, LS customs there you turn left and basically just keep straight up this road here and come over and then go back the same way that's actually the quickest way but if you want to make it a loop you can do straight up then go up uh, basically keep going straight and turn up this road the way that the race goes up this road here turn at the gas station and then go this way and then come back the way that I said before where you basically just stay on this road come through and then come down but yeah I timed it and it was something like minute and 30 seconds going this way and like two minutes going that way it's like not a huge difference but if you're running a bunch of eraser well back in the day that was whenever you could do uh mark 14s <laughs> full of erasers that that whenever you were doing a bunch of them that's uh that 30 seconds would make a difference you can make a whole lot of xp doing that not as much money, but you make a lot of XP doing that. So yeah, we can see if I can beat my PB. Probably not, because uh, that was not a great 
start. And I do think that my PB was actually quite a good run with this car, which is what I did actually for the time. Yep, not going to beat it. <laughs> which is the PB that I got is actually the time that I used for the thing. I actually wound up doing this race twice because the first time I did it I actually missed a turn <laughs> which I will uh, point out when we get there I was wasn't really paying attention and just blew straight through in an intersection where I was supposed to turn uh, but I did not oh and I guess actually uh, something that we can do with this uh, since this is actually I guess sort of part of my new road to completionist series is uh I would talk about what's changed since the last time that I had a video, but honestly, like I said, I haven't been on in four months, so yeah, not much. <laughs> I guess other than the racing levels that I've gotten today, which I think I've gotten like 15 levels today, maybe. Uh, and after this is done, I will actually go get a new... Uh, Tycoon Premium, because like I said, I don't have it, and I need it. So, so yeah, definitely not... Uh, so yeah, I missed that turn back there. Uh, turning onto this road. So yeah, that is the... Uh, the, the, the best race for getting uh, racing XP, so... Yeah, for those of you that uh, just sit and do the uh, LF Highway Loop, that is not actually your best bet. It, it kind of is, because it's the best to not really pay attention to. Because <laughs> that's a very easy, you know, you're on the highways the whole time. It's not an actual technical circuit uh, like the others are. Don't know how that how that worked, but okay. Uh, let's hope that I actually have enough. Oh, I actually already have one. Do I have enough to get another one? If so, I will. I do. Okay. Yeah. So I already have one. Uh, let's see. Checking premium license. There we go. Renew. Also, at some point, I will probably do a video talking about the changes that have that have been made to Bus Driver because I believe that one is the basically the biggest change. Because yeah, yeah, the new basically tier system for Bus Driver. I will probably make a video talking about that. And yeah, so that might be the next video that you see whenever I come back is that. And I am still working on, I'm still going to be working on the when to go for a Mark 14, uh, basically what trailer should you make the jump from to the Mark 14. Uh, so income for all of the jobs basically level one and level 100 that'll probably be separate videos and then trucking all the different trucking routes i plan to do at some point but those are gonna be uh long <laughs> it's gonna take a while to make those videos uh to do all the work for that so uh so yeah like i said this is gonna be kind of a shorter video uh but yeah finally back uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.